Mao went to his village grammar school near where his parents' farm was. Later, Mao wanted more schooling, so he, so he left his home at age 13 to attend a nearby advanced school in a different village in China. In 1911, Mao started going to secondary school in Shanghai. Mao grew up in a small village province called Shaoshan. His parents were peasant farmers, but his father had risen above his status as a peasant who was now a prosperous grain dealer. Mao's father wanted him to become a prosperous grain dealer like him, but all Mao wanted was to get a better education than his village grammar school. At the end of the Qing Dynasty's reign, there was a revolution that Mao fought in to bring this dynasty out of power. This revolution forced the Qing Dynasty out of power so that China could have a new governor or leader. The revolution was later called Sun Yat-sen's Revolution. Mao fought in this revolution for six months, and the fighting side of Tsai Hin and his fascinations he had from childhood about war, warfare, and warfare heroes. Death, Mao is remembered as one of the most important, if not the most, in Chinese history. Mao is remembered because of all the changes he had brought to China during his lifetime. His wife and three other men who had worked with Mao during his life were arrested for crimes against the state. These four people became known as the Gang of Four and faced death for their crimes. The alliance with the nationalists, Mao became a full-time revolutionist because he saw revolution in the peasant class. Mao used the peasants to help him gain control when he wanted to take over China. He used a brilliant strategy to help gain control of the countryside so that with the countryside on his side, he could encircle the city and take over the city too. 1920s, Mao was a school principal when he started to organize school students, merchants, and peasants during his free time to help him oppose Japan's takeover of part of China. At the time, Japan had taken over the Shandong province of China. This led to anti-imperialist sentiments that would believe in and follow Hunyan, Mao's partner, and Mao to stop the Japanese. The Cultural Revolution was a 10-year political and ideological campaign that aimed at reviving revolutionary spirit. The Cultural Revolution produced massive social, economic, and political uproar when the killing or executions and arrests began. Mao controlled everything that was taught in school, so all children learned quotes by Mao and how to help Mao when the time came through that they'd become a Red Guard. Adults who didn't obey Mao would be sent to jail by the Red Guards and possibly publicly executed if their crimes were very bad. The Leap Forward Project was supposed to make China one of the world's top economic holders, which it did, but not in the way Mao thought. This project also caused a lot of economic breakdown because everyone, including the peasants, was supposed to be producing metal, so new, no food could be re reproduced. Starvation starts, and millions of Chinese people start to die. The five-year economic project is abandoned after two years. Then everyone who survived has to go back to making another project called the Great Leap Forward. During this project, farming is collectivized and labor-intensive inter industry is introduced. This drive means everyone is to produce as much scrap metal as possible, such as spatula rakes, rings, and shovels. This metal is then molded together to make steel. Because nobody had any experience with metal and steel making, though, the metal turned into more scrap metal. The goal of the project is for trying to make more steel so they can lead the world in the economics. Mao led some Hunyan peasants into southwest China in 1924 while fleeing the nationalists who were under attack. Mao gained peasant support by re redistributing land to the peasants. This is later called the Historic Long Arch. Later, Mao and his colleagues formed a stable Soviet-style government and defeated the nationalists after three years of plotting.